Hello, welcome to another session of Plan Swift Essentials Part 3. Today I'll cover a few common questions about Plan Swift like how to arrange the quantities as folder wise, how to continue any item smartly, and how to manage the speed of panning. Now how to sort the quantities by name quickly and how to highlight the shapes as a box wise. Hopefully you will learn something new today. Let's get started. Okay, the first one is how to arrange the quantities as a folder wise. You can see here all my quantities are under folder and subfolder. So in this manner it's easy for me to trace any quantities. I have folders, flooring and under I have the quantities. So how exactly I have done that, so I will show you. There are two ways, if you can start from scratch, like you are measuring the quantities, at that time you can make the folders, or if you have already finished the takeoff, you have already done the quantities, you can still do that with the existing quantities. Okay, let's start by the first way. I need to count few doors, so I will click here count, software will ask me the name as you are already doing that name color main thing is here folder maybe you never notice this here it's down so i have few folder that's why i can see here but if you are working first time with the folder you might not gonna see here so you can give a name here doors if you want do you want to be part of any folder give a name here i want and in a folder door so i make a name press ok no i simply need to click this is common you are already doing that okay just click right click stop okay now go back to estimating tab you will find that there is a new folder door and d1 is part of that and even i have block work let me give you an example i find that i have few more walls here so what i'm gonna do i will click here linear i will give a name let's say wall 250 okay we'll give a name but i don't want now to be part of door so because i have already folder that's why it's easy for me to find out i'll simply choose choose a color press ok and I will highlight wherever it is right click and stop go to estimating tab and you will find out it's part of block work okay the way you have created the folder so that's how you can create the folder now what if we have already done the quantity let me show you the example we click here count it's window 1 as an example okay and we didn't choose any folder without any folder press ok and simply you click wherever the windows are as an example right click and stop now what happened it will remain outside without any folder let me collapse like that it will be without any folder so in this way i'm sure you have done already so many quantities it's not part of any folder and it's totally mess it's unorganized way so how to create the folder here there is a button click on it give a name okay i want quantities as a in a windows as an example windows press ok now i have created the folder even if i want more folder let me give you the example let's say a civil okay or a structure we can add as many folders we want so if you want to add more folder part of structure substructure superstructure if you want i'm just saying or columns or excavation if you want more you can add that the foundation select the folder and click here subfolder and you can give a name here okay folder one Again select the main folder and click here subfolder and folder number 2. So that's how you can arrange as many you want. You see here in MEP I have more folders, drainage, electrical, fire alarm, firefighting. And even though in firefighting I have more, pipe, sprinkler, special system. So if you arrange the folder in this manner, it's more organized for you. Fine, we have created a folder. Now how we can move this in a window? So there are two ways. One, you can select and drag and drop. There is a button, right button. This is more convenient. If you press this button right, it will go whatever the folder is on the top. You can see here now it's part of window. If you don't want to be part of a window, just left click, it will be outside. Right to be a part of window. So that's how you can move uh, down. You can select any folder. Any folder you can move down. You can move up. And if you, if I want civil as an example, if I want civil to be part of structure, I will simply right click. You can see here. So that's how we can arrange the folder. I have these folders. If I press this button export to Excel, same view will be on my Excel sheet. It's easy for us to present. You can see here flooring. Flooring is here. Block work is there separately as a folder wise. So it totally depends on how you create the folder. 
same way the result will be shown here. I hope you understand the point. Second question is how to continue any existing item. You can see here I have few existing item here. On the ground floor I have wall and few doors and window. I have it here. Now I want to continue wall 200. I find it I miss the wall 200. I need to add it. So what is the quickest way you use? Most of the people they press the screen button. That's fine. There's no harm. You can press that. It's fine. But what if you have so many items? so many floors so many items so you need to find out this is one second way is you maybe you can search here okay wall 200 you can search that and then press green button that's the second way what if i show you there is another way the most quickest one you can select the item if you know you want to add this item no need to see on the left side just select the item you want to add this item just select this section and press N, short key N from the keyboard, N for new. So when you press N, this item is active and you can add more section. And if you find, I forget to add wall 100. So instead of going there, select the section. You can see here, wall 100, you have done it before. Select and press N. So that's the most quickest way. Okay, I hope you understand that. Have you ever get bothered by the speed of panning? You can see here, on one drawing sometimes we have to move up and down right and left so for that purpose we hold the scroll wheel from the mouse and then we move right and left but if you can see here it's way too fast it's not under control so there is one way you can keep it under control go to the setting then in zoom and panning there is one button enable speed panning I prefer to keep it unchecked so once you uncheck and go to the page you will find out to move right or left it's in control it's very, it's very smooth so that's what I prefer and that's how you can adjust the panning speed under the ground floor you can see here I have done few quantities wall door and window and it's the quantities are shown here as a sequence wise not as we want that wall should be separate and door should be separate so how to arrange it let me give you the, another example door i have done previously now i find it i have another door so what i'm gonna do d2 fine and i will highlight here wherever i find out the door now the problem is one door i have up and then i have another door so it's not easy to trace there is another way quickly you can sort as a name wise how just right click on any of the item and then you will find out button sort by name when you press it you will find out doors are together by w it's together wall is together so that's how you can arrange by one click all the item as a name wise how to highlight as a box wise you can see here i have few rectangular shape and i can highlight quickly by box it's very easy and it saves a lot of time by default you cannot highlight as a box wise there is a way so on the status bar you can see here record mode box right now it's a box when i click here by default it's point to point so you have to highlight one two three it's most common use because not all the shapes are boxed but if it's a box and you find that these tools are box so simply you can click here record mode it turn into box and you can save the time so that's how box work and this box shape will only appear if area or linear is active if you turn it off it will not appear here you can see here if you turn on any item then only you can see here so that's it if you have any question or doubt just drop it in the comments below so i will answer in a coming video and if you really like the video don't forget to subscribe the channel so thank you so much for watching stay connected and keep learning